If I could talk to my 10-year-old self with my denim jacket and your picture in the back, <laughs> that I would be sitting here chatting to you on the sofa. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's incredible. And just to look at that and the history between the two of you. And I don't know how you feel, actually, when you watch those moments back. I mean, particularly the sort of behind the scenes there at this morning, it turned out to be in the dressing oh, yeah. room. Um, how does it make you feel? Are you glad that you let the cameras in on that part of your life? I think that, that we're really we're proud that we we had a discussion with each other that we were going to let go of the editing rights because we didn't want it to be a promo piece, you know how wonderful life is and just we just really wanted to be truthful and it was a scary moment because obviously we we've, we've been very wary and we're notoriously private people and we did leave this country because we we just wanted some privacy and. Um, we just made a decision to leave it all in, didn't we? Yeah, I think also, I mean, if you really want to... The, the documentary, as much as it's a, it's a feature film, at the same time, it was building bridges between Matt and I and uh, learning how to communicate again creatively. And I think, it, like, like Matt said, if it was a promo piece, it doesn't really achieve anything, not only for Matt and I, but for the viewer or anyone. It's but to make it interesting and also to have the benefit that it had in our own personal lives. Mm -hmm. you got to kind of... Uh, you got to let it live as it is, the truth in a documentary is kind of, is paramountly important. James Corden was one of the sort of executive producers yeah, is, on yeah. the piece, wasn't he? Um, it's, it's an interesting mix actually to have him involved and I guess he's wanting to probably do a bit of a performance with you at some stage off the yeah. back of this as well. He always <laughs> it, seems to rope everybody in, doesn't he? It was he? funny, he did, he did, we had a screening in Los Angeles, the reaction was phenomenal. He did a speech before the screening in LA and he was saying he uh, stole all his sister's outfits and then he uh, walked down the street thinking he was going to get all the love <laughs> and he realised he said it wasn't the outfit, it was him. <laughs> so it was a funny <laughs> speech. He's very generous though. He's yeah, very, mm. very generous. Yeah, well he was a big and part a huge of the success. success. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you were at the Brits, of course, mm. on, on Wednesday night. So you would have been there, it was 1989 that you won the best breakthrough act. Yeah, yeah. What's it like returning and just having fans there again? I mean, I know certainly on Instagram and Twitter, everyone wanted their, their selfie pictures with you too. Did it feel strange going back to that big environment again? We just felt very, very welcome. The Brits in many ways can be the the start of their journey. Mm. So we know that this is a journey. So it was a nice thing to see the beginning I, of their journey. I was really surprised that, you know, there's a lot of artists there, a lot of executives that, and they, they welcomed us with open, open arms. And it was just so welcoming and lovely unanimously. And I, I didn't know what to expect, but again, we were greeted beautifully and uh, it's quite humbling. Oh, of course, people humbling. want to see you back. That's the whole thing. So what is happening? What is happening next to Bros? Tell us stuff. Is there new music? Will there be an album? Will there be a tour? Yeah, we're, we're really neck deep in negotiations with a major label and... Advanced, and advanced uh, uh, negotiations with a major label. And yeah, and we're going to jump in the studio very, very soon and we're going to really, really put our heads down and that's going to be a whole new thing. There's talks of them filming the whole process again, which is going to be Documenting fun. the whole, uh, you, know, the, the, you know, the preparation, then maybe go residential, make an album and bed down and make hopefully the best, the best Brost album we've ever made. So. Really? So the working relationship is there now, I think yeah, the foundations are there no, no. for this. It's going to be never. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's Someone said to me last night, do you think you'll fight? I said, I there should be some kind of tension in the studio because that's what creates that's interesting the, music. That's going to be mm. Yeah, so well, look, be, you know, the odd little spat. We I'm didn't sure. fight before this interview, which is good. Well, yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. thank you. Yeah, it's the didn't. calming force that we have in yeah, this yeah, studio, yeah. I'd like to think. Not <laughs> wasn't enough room in the dressing room for a good old swing. But <laughs> yeah, we said bigger room next time, it might be a couple of scraps. <laughs> oh dear, don't say that. <laughs> but it can't be our fault. Thanks so much, guys, for coming in. It is so great to see you. And Thanks for having me you. and many others will look forward to this new music. Just, can I just talent. say to everyone in the country, they've been so beautiful to us. And we're really? Just literally after this, we're jumping on the plane back to the States, and we just felt. We felt so welcome. So welcome. We? It's, we're still not uh, truly used to it, but thank you, everybody. Really. Thank you.